hose around um, or whatever is easiest for you to position. Sure. Before we were over here, I'm gonna square up to it. Uh, here down, I don't know where is the view, but it looks like a concentration as well. Oh, yeah. Jane, every time I see those corals now, I think of lyre. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the lyrate structure? Yeah. yeah. We have slurps five, six, and seven available. Roger that. Oh, no. That's it, really? Yeah, there's Been quite a few Chrysogorgia with squat lobsters. So we have a C pen in one. I guess we could add to that, but we want to avoid getting Chrysogorgia with anything else because it will mucus up. Oh. Is that well, what this is? Well, C pen is? also is quite mucous. No, this okay. is Clavularia. The other slurps have Chrysogorgia in them. I'm okay. sorry, what, how you said? C pens can also be very mucous. Okay. Like, uh, um, Ambelula usually is very delicate. Okay. So can we turn on the? Or I can do if there is other one available. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do one I of the others. On, I got it. I'm sorry. I didn't know if you were ready or not. No, that's okay, bud. Um, do we want to go right for the slurp, or that right in front of the slurp? It looks like there's a rock there. They might be able to just grab. This one, you mean? Yes. You could try whatever it. You want, whatever you'd like to uh, do. You could try it first. Sure. You might be able to grab that with all of it still attached. That'd be great. <laughs> These unfresh rocks are not geologists' favorite rocks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How does one tell the freshness of a rock? I, I think <laughs> earlier they were saying it's the amount of sediment on them. Is that right? Uh -huh. no, you cut it open with a rock yeah. saw. <laughs> <laughs> How slick it is. We don't know until we get it up to the top. Huh? Yeah, it's really hard to tell on the seafloor like this without seeing a broken off piece. Earlier, they were talking about potential of jackhammering or other things. Oh, oh hey. yeah, that's good. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Uh, let's see Seems what pretty nice. Yeah, that was. Uh, oh, it's a lot bigger underneath the sand. Oh, wow. We're losing, we're losing pressure. Stay All right, so we could fit that in starboard by box F. Just hold on a sec. It did have a giant piece oh, buried go. underneath, huh? That wow. Is huge. That's quite large. Will that fit? That should fit. It'll if fit it'll, in one it, of them. it could fit in a smaller bio box. Uh, it, star, starboard side, guys, I think. If it can fit in yeah. a smaller one, we could go for B. Otherwise, the larger bio box F. Oh, let me take photos of this. Moving. Okay. Thank you for that slow turn. This is helpful. That's one rotation. Okay. Do you want to bring it over the porch and then like adjust yourself, or do you just want to open it up and go? Um, I was just contemplating that. Um, but I think because of the pressure, we should probably like adjust. Well, it's sitting down right now, and we've got our pressure back. Okay. So um, I'm the arm is frozen. Um, can you bump out the box as much as we need? Okay, so we're going to starboard. Yeah. Um, oh. Data, is that sample 080? Correct. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to switch over to Salvo. Yeah, go for it. We're not doing a slip right now, so let me go ahead and turn that off. All right, uh, do we have enough space, it looks like? Yeah, we I think we space. do, yeah. I think we do, too. All as right. long as we have the space, I don't really uh, want to... Is there anything us. in the box that I need to know about? In which box? that can come out? Do we have to shut off? For the starboard bio box, there are only rocks. Okay, perfect. Copy. Then let's keep thrust on because we're already fighting it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's, um, close as far as you can. So, st stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Uh, which one? So, if it can fit in a smaller bio box, we could go for B. Otherwise, okay. let's try for F in the larger back half. Just also, you got bubble on you, so if you need to see that too.
Thank you for following that. Oh, yeah. I... Um, okay. Is there anything in A? A has another rock in it. Ah. We could easily distinguish these, though. So oh, if need uh, be, I guess we could also I'm gonna put it say in it's too big. Okay, let's go F, please. Jane, I think we have a shrimp. <laughs> I'll note it in just a minute. <laughs> That's the motion I wanted. Okay. Nice. Well done. Woohoo! Yay! F. Correct. Yeah, that's amazing. All right, I'm bringing Thanks. it in. Have we had many samples about octocorals, or is that? Is that some of the first? Octocorals, we've had a number of. Okay. Uh, what, uh, th doesn't matter. I'm mostly looking at this. Um, yeah, we've collected a lot of octocorals. The, um, pretty much anything the besides the black corals have been octocorals, as far as All right, the boxes biology. Closed. All right, hydraulics secure to the arm. <coughs> oh, we're moving. Moving right along. Okay. Um, this is it way, chain? I gotta go back that way. Hold okay. on, I'm gonna check some what the boat. All right, that was a nice collection, you guys. Let's uh, probably get the ship underway to start making progress again. We got a little called yeah, up here. Porches. Did we want to take a quick zoom on this red critter though before we sure. leave this area? Go ahead and zoom. This is probably um, what called motion. Coral oh, uh, mushroom coral, yeah, I bet you're right. Rosa and Tomastus. Yeah, Tomastus, yeah. I love the mushroom corals. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. I'm now naming things mushroom sponges, too. <laughs> no, they are incredible. They don't... Um, Sorry, we're, we're really still don't really have far the from. internal axis. Yeah, we can get out of here. Yeah, Atlanta can't quite put the tugging on the umbilical. That is an oh, interesting okay, uh, sediment plumage coming from the, like, where the rock was. Oh, yeah. So, seems more viscous than it is granular. You've disrupted the whole ecology of this side of the seamount. Okay, I'm going to try to come back towards you. Make this a little bit better. Are we supposed to be filling this in? I don't know. I haven't been. <laughs> and there is lots of documentation going on in the control van. Mm -hmm. We have several different cameras that we're taking highlights and pictures with, as well, well as written notes. What? Is that se sample 73? No, 80. 80. So, 80. yeah, and we have this for, for the stone? Excuse me? Because uh, I think here is only for rocks. For only for rocks, okay. So the rest, r the last rock was the sample IG? Uh, before this one? one? Let me take a look. The last one before this was 72. Okay, so that will be 80. Yep. Depth about 1798. Oh, that's an interesting. Oh, that's an Iridogorgia? Mm hmm. Fireworks. We saw some beautiful ones last night as well. With a still cam smudge, it always looks like there's something just outside. Right, so we are just off in the distance. It's like, oh, what's over there? Oh, no. It's also, it seems very diffuse today. Is it just me? A little bit more sparse than yesterday, is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, the lighting. Oh, okay. It's like there's like more th things in the water that's diffusing the light. Can you turn, mm -hmm. uh, turn off the down lights? It's please? already off. Oh, they are? Okay. Wow. Yeah. The only thing I would... Unless uh, it's like the, the iris is too much, unless we can turn that down a little. Can we have a look, a zoom yes, in yeah. the black hole in your right side, please? Coming down. 
He also might be looking really high. And my view now is the, looks like the Oh yeah, look at that, Eridagorgia, yeah. And what was the type of black roll that you said that was, Haisa? Um, I can't see from this view, but by the shape of the the colony, I would maybe could be a trisopatis. Wow, beautiful. Nice. I'm trying to see how many the pinnels there is, Gotta because sometimes there is different species, has different Ooh, numbers. Oh, small polychaete swimming upwards. Uh-oh. It's a swimmer. Oh, doesn't seem Let's to. There see. it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fantastic. This it's like undulating, huh? It's like yeah. Interesting. Oh. Do, have you seen, Jane, if it, this was on the colony and they... F uh, I did fly? not see. It seemed oh. like it was swimming upwards from the rocks, but I, I didn't see the original Is position. Is there any chance, sorry, to have a better zoom on it? Yes, yeah. That, can you come wide, please? I'm just going to scooch the vehicle a little closer. Because we are looking, some of uh, scientists ashore, they are asking for us to zoom and uh, check if there is any associates, like, or, sure. or worms, or um, also for Paula, squat lobsters. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really nice picture in the um, triclops. Yeah, it's incredible yeah, how you can see different things from the different camera angles. I know. It's, uh, so, yeah, because from the triclops, it seems like the aridogorge is growing upwards, but in the herc cam, it looks like it's growing more yeah. horizontally. Panos, is the cinematic camera available for viewers, too? Yes, it's on satellite feed three. All right. We usually keep it there, right? Yeah. Go ahead and zoom, Panos. Oh, there is a squat lobster in the tip of it. Oh. If oh we yes. give yeah. a zoom on there. I feel like we see squat lobsters a lot in black corals. It is. It looks like they have a kind of um, oh. good uh, relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you come it is a preference. A Makes a good home for them, huh? Sure. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I'm sure Paula and Steve will be work on that, and um, hopefully we are going to have more data with this expedition. We will be able to to have a little bit more um, understand if there is a specific relationship or if there is um, okay. what type of symbiosis. If you could, cool. yeah, zoom, zoom in, in if you the, like. Yeah, meaning the part that is the squat lobster there. It's almost pinkish, right? Mm. Okay, good on Zoom. Thank you. Well, jo good for, for my photos. Yeah, you can yeah, keep just stay on there. Or, Sorry, yeah. I've got my photos. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> full Zoom. Yeah, I don't think it's a... a it's hard to see from this angle. Yeah, it's three so it Pivot around. Um, Two guys. It's good turn, but it's, it's tricky. I'm not sure if Paula is watching and <laughs> she can identify already or what, but um, yeah, that's that's perfect. Thank you so much. We'll see more. Let's keep going. Oh yeah. Roger that. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an interesting shape of colony of this, um, the way that's branching of this black coral. And this is quite a big colony as well. So we have more crinoids associated. It looks like the crinoids is quite um, associated with the hemicorallion. Uh -huh. um, and crinoids is very interesting because they have huge mostly, we can have these ones that they are free living like they can swim in the water column and they uh, can attach in the corals or sponges with their cities what was that word with their what um, i don't know if i pronounce correct but it's spelled c-i-r-r-i-s for mm. plural hmm. large stocked sponge behind 
I love that cinematic cam. If you can um, have a zoom. Would you like to zoom on it? Yeah. Is that yes, what you have? Like the, the weird Sorry, yeah, I was yeah. focused on okay. that one. Very That's pretty. why it looked kind of weird. If at any diffuse. moment I may ask you for too uh. much zoom, so you, you please let me know. <laughs> <laughs> we do, we do have to make, make some progress. <laughs> yeah, so otherwise I will be We've zooming. made it almost half a waypoint. <laughs> zoom on everything. You can yeah. zoom. You can go ahead and zoom on us. Okay, the, the last one. <laughs> for now. Looks like another crinoid behind it. Lots so of associates on there. The yes. Bridge yeah. stars and I mean it's interesting. It's such a small colony, and like it's about let's see, 15 centimeters. Similar to and, the and you have a, a, a whole bunch of um, associates. Um, Reminds me of the squat lobster on the black coral. I always feel like we see these brittle stars on this type of coral as well. I've yet to see a, a, yes, a pollock star. Uh, um, I think more we have nice. more data, we could see this this tendency and what to be, and so you know what associates is more likely find in different types of corals. Um, definitely, we're seeing for black coral and squat lobster that is um, a, ten, a type of could be a, a type of a specific association, but you can find like. Uh, Squat lobster everywhere as well. Do we get any niskins yet? That's what? perfect. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Yeah, that's great. I, I got my photos. Cool. Yeah, let's keep going for a little bit if we can. We'll try to get up towards waypoint four. I believe we saw some sponges like that on our previous watch, but I'm afraid I don't recall. Let's see if I can figure out the ID quickly. Uh, just to correct, uh, the spell of the, I think, if, uh, of the Sihi is not uh, with S. I think I said the is IS. I, the plural is, that <laughs> is without S. It looks like waypoint four is just a little bit under the halfway mark. Halfway for the whole dive, or halfway yeah, up? Yeah, for the dive is what I was looking uh, at. Only about a third. I'd oh, well. a third, yeah. Okay, we have... Um, Looks like waypoint six is Georgia, about halfway. The to right. Me. Is that Did another paramaracid? calling it? Um, paramaracid. I'm not sure. It's zoom. Looks, yeah, for, for the the main camera, looks you'd be more look like a paramaracid. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, I have coffee. Oh, yeah. How beautiful. Uh. Michael, did I just hear you whisper coffee? Oh, that is it. And this point yes, that is true. I just realized I had down coffee. There. It's like, yes. I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I couldn't see if it was a Kali's sponge, but I think. Is there something you wanted to see back there? So is there a scientific term for these kind of large, flat boulders that we just passed over? Some of them have more texture than others, but. I was just trying to figure this out. It's um, when you have a volcano, it erupts these lavas, right? And you get these, uh, get and, and inflates. And yeah, so you get these awesome. large lava flows and um, sheet flows. And then after the eruption and the inflation, it stru starts to collapse. And I think as the rocks cool, they, they kind of collapse and break apart. And so we're probably looking at just broken off pieces from large lava flows uh, when the volcano was erupting. So Dwight, on, on here right after waypoint four, it seems like it scoops in a little bit. Somebody called it an ice cream scoop earlier. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts or hypothesis? Oh, on uh, that is? actually, I think oh, that's a this? that's a jog in our track line. Oh, okay. So it looks like that because it um, we actually I think hug along the. Uh, Should we take a look at this coral? Sorry, the to scarp. 
This looks different than. Uh, yeah, sorry. I just I just noticed that uh, I was. Uh, as long as they have time and to not stop the ship, you can look I, at whatever you yes, want. Yes, we're uh, sorry. Like we're ahead of Atlanta, which is why I've stopped. With Zoe, what's called? Oh, Zoanthids on the top. Zoanthids. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. It just looked like a different color. It seemed. Out of Th that was like out from, of what we've from seen before. the view I have here, what l I would guess. Um. Oh yes, now I see it a little bit better in the uh, Triclops cam. Could you all describe what a zoanthid is? They look like corals to me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're another type of nidarian. They so they are another type of nidarian that kind of encrusts over other living tissues. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, when I say nidarian, that means in the same phylum as corals, jellyfish, all that. So they have their own cool. polyps. They're not true corals, though. Is that what these are? Yeah. Zoanthids? Yeah. Nice, 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 nice image. And a snake ophiroid. Thank yeah. you. So back to the question of um, after waypoint four. So in the dive plan and in the mapping that we did last night, we saw this really interesting feature, which looks like it was a part of the flank of the volcano that gave way and mm. uh, caused probably a massive landslide. And in fact, uh, as you looked at the mapping data last night, we could see the toe of the, of the landslide uh, at really deep depths, more than 4,000 meters, where there was a huge pile of probably rubble and debris from the landslide. Um, so it looks like a, uh, basically a cirque or a headwall scarp and uh, a huge area of the mountain that's given way. And so we're really curious to go look at that part that has broken apart because it'll give us a sort of a window into the interior of the volcano. And uh, so we chose the dive track line to jog over at a certain key area to take a look at this landslide scarp. So definitely going to take some rock samples in that area, right? Yeah, f yeah, depending on what we see. And um, it's also getting up close to the summit of the Gio, and it might be an interesting transition uh, to some uh, some limestone rock or some different morphologies. So we're pretty curious to take a look there, instead of just following the ridge all the way. So knowing that a lot of the biology is just taking from the water around it, do we think there will be some biology down in that ravine or not so much? Well, yeah, so this submarine landslide probably happened, you know, millions of, obviously, assuming it's an 80 million year old seamount, it could have happened s soon after its formation. So it's a, uh, but it still is giving us a little bit fresher look inside to the rocks that have broken away. Awesome. But it's hard to know for sure. This, you know, it's hard to date when a landslide happens. Oh, that's not good. We have an interesting um, message in the chat. I, I thought reflection. that the name Squat Lobster was just an inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I could see it in the in the so camera right here. So we passed a few colonies I of see the, uh, uh, Now we are seeing Antomastus. Uh, the tether in pretty, the pretty close. Left oh, side. I, I don't know if the view. Oh, okay. So the triclops. Anthomastis being the scientific name for the mushroom coral, correct? Yes, exactly. Probably uh, it's, too, um, it's not really, as the other octocorals, not so well understood. Um, it has been revised so far what we, we, we know about, so has some systematic reviews about. And we, we can differentiate, differentiate differentiate very well by the image, so we need to collect if you wanted to properly identify it, which is mostly of the the state of the the other corals at the moment of the deep sea, unfortunately. But it's, it's exciting because also now we have technology and, and you have much more resource to explore. So this looks like a hemicorallum. Another one with a few zoanthids, or mm -hmm. perhaps? I could see zoanthids in this one, but the colors between the two cameras I have uh, is a bit different. So 
I'm not sure. The, I don't Just spot the any. Yeah, I think I don't spot. You're right, there's a slight color difference. I think that was confusing me. Speaking mm -hmm. of the difference, some people are saying that some on the other watch are calling this the cinnamon cam and we call it the triclops and we're all referring it's the same to thing. same thing, yeah. same camera. Yeah, I mean, it's not calling it no, the clops because there's uh, only one of them, the cyclops. So no more tri, just? No, the, the, we took the other two off. Oh, I see, okay. Monoclops, <laughs> monoclops. Cl clops, <laughs> or cyclops. Chonoclops. I'm gonna zoom in on that. The cinema clubs. This looks like a snake star. And that's Amazing. just one organism, right? Not multiple. Uh, it looks so that way. That looks Sometimes like it's one. I have trouble distinguishing between when there's multiple brittle stars or when there's just one. That star is very much intertwined. Wow. Beautiful. Uh, wow. If it's go. one, it's huge. Yeah, it's quite yeah. large. Yeah, it looks like it's one. Yeah, because you can only see one center, right? Yeah. yeah. What type of coral is that? That's uh, a I believe it's hemicorallium. Also yeah. known as precious corals. Because they used to be, I think... For jewelry? Yep, exactly. Harvested for that purpose. Are they protected now? I don't know the status of that. Not from us. Are <laughs> these types... Uh, I'm assuming that these types are like at all kinds of depths. Um, these coral. Hey, so do you know, uh, pardon? Say again. Are they uh, like are they found at various ver depths? Because that'd be kind of like crazy that they would have to go all the way down here just for jewelry. <laughs> Steve is going to answer that for us. Yeah, I mean, so. <laughs> <a little laughs> that. Good question. I mean, That's there's certainly saying. a depth range for all of these. Um, Corallium rubrum from the Mediterranean used to be carved for jewelry, says okay. Steve Oskovich. Okay, Mediterranean. Still okay. in places, but there are cites. It's a cites species, which is the uh, international um, species, I, I don't remember the exact acronym, but it um, basically is one of the international organizations that that uh, puts different species on protection status lists. Mm. This you is the first time I've noticed it. But you're not allowed to export it. Do they all have different color bases? Mm. Like we've seen oh, other... Oh, I see. Um, not necessarily. type before. Mm. I don't re remember seeing a... Such a white color change. Such a yeah. big color base, change. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. I learned something new. That's really abrupt, isn't it? It goes yeah, from one like color to another. Yeah, and it's, it's like a. Um, it almost looks like it's covering the pink. And it's on like a. It, it's like a, there's a line. Because if you see they're like close to the where it changed from white to pink, mm -hmm. there's a branch that comes up. Even the top of the branch is pink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It is not all white. That's, so that's pretty uh, interesting, isn't it? It's huh. weird. Don't know. I wonder if it's like a like a a current threshold. Like that's where like the current really picks up or something. All right. Well, Adelaide just ca caught back up to us, so we can continue on. I've got some good photos. We're all set on awesome. the zoom. Dwight, going back the to that question or, or the conversation about the rocks, did the volcano blow after? Or I'm sorry, above the water and sank down, or was it all underwater? Very good question. Mm -hmm. um, at this depth, it was almost certainly underwater. Um, the summit, though, and where we're going to end this dive, uh, rises up to about 1,300 meters, and it's possible that that eruption was subaerial, so that portion of the volcanic island was above above water. Hard to know. It has this sort of classic geo shape along the summit in a lot of places, mm -hmm. but then there's then there's these features that protrude oh. up from the oh, flat part of the geo. So in theory, the geo oh, summit that. was at sea level. Well, uh, I and saw the your volcanoes coral. erupted above sea level, well, uh, only at that there. part at the top, not not the part we're looking at here. It has a signature on it. All right, we have so a nice fish like here. Hey, hey. Oh. Oh. hey, I think he got hit by the laser. He's lying to him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I think he went. He's right next to our coral. Nope, it came back. See if I got a photo. Yeah, yeah, trick it. Like, it's interesting how these fish it. seem to swim backwards, right? Can you do that? Swim, swim backwards? It? Yeah. Um, not like they can. <laughs> I learned how to do that with scuba fins on. Nice. During oh, my, yeah. uh, my Have scientific... Have we identified the fish? Sorry. Cutthroat eel? Possibly cutthroat. Uh, 
sorry I interrupted you. No, that's fine. That's <laughs> more interesting than my story about learning to swim backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come back to that. I want to hear more about that. <laughs> As to not accidentally. Definitely so not. There's a cup coral here. A cup coral? Where? Oh. Yes. Looks I'll turn like off the lasers oh, yeah. just yeah. in case. It's okay. This is what we wanted to see, right? Yeah, we didn't want to see you anyway. Didn't want to see the fish. I think we can like the paragorgia bubblegum coral next to it. If we're lucky, it comes straight for the cinema cam. Mm. Yeah, you could tell this is a deeper colored pinkish than the hemichorallium. Is that all the way in? We can definitely move closer. Yes, it's all the way in. And the color of looks like the color of the British stars as well is a little mm. different from the other ones. This looks does, more pinkish yeah. than the other one is more yellowish. Yeah, so this one. Do you think we should like collect the cup coral? Distinct white. Uh, no, I think we collect less we dive. Did. Yeah. Okay. We we had oh, looks back. for me looks the same, oh, but the cam, probably the for cam. some expertise. Oh, look at the fish was in the uh, oh, sorry, I tried cinema monoglass. I tried to get him in that camera, but he moved away. So we're not we don't want to collect any of this. No. Good. No, we, we can. We want to get better pictures of it. Do we want to continue. We can continue. Okay. I think I got some Continuing photos. Continuing on. Right along. We do have some viewers saying it's called the cinnamon cam. <laughs> uh, waka waka. Oh, I think it's tunicate. Maybe we passed. And I think there is another colony here. I don't know if it's Paru Paragorgia, maybe? What are, where are we looking? And another front here. Ah. With Paramurcia. So there is some, looks like Paragorgia, Paramurcia. And in my view. Nav, what's our distance to waypoint for? We have to wish get from the boat too. Just a second, I'll let you know. Distance to waypoint like four, 240 meters. Thank you. Yep. Can zoom in, Panos. Come on. And looks like here there is something in front of the. Amazing, beautiful shot. Yeah, that cinema camera gives us a good wide angle view of the coral and what's around it. Yeah. And it's nice with this camera, we can see the small things. Yeah, we were seeing a lot of tiny ones yes. yesterday. Yeah. And we, the last time we could see so many small black corals colonies that otherwise we wouldn't see. Yeah, like I don't understand. That's perfect for the zoom, so thanks so much. Yeah. Lynette, could you also give me a distance to waypoint six if you follow, if we follow the track the way it's laid out now? Yeah, just a second. Oh, that's uh, oh, polyopagon. 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 Yeah. We were in the land of polyopagons last night. We sure were. <laughs> they were big ones too. That wasn't last night. That was the night before. <laughs> I'm so lost in time. Because our shoots. What like, day is today? Yeah. Actually, Jane, <laughs> you were trying thinking that yesterday was. Uh, the, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure I put a lot of the wrong dates on some of the sample sheets, but I, I told Leela about uh, it, so she, we're all up to date. Sorry, Leela, okay. if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> looks like about 780 <laughs> meters total. Kind of tougher loads to waypoint six. Yeah, I came down the other day. I was so excited to see the ice cream. I was like, you surprised us on a non ice cream day, but it was Excellent. actually ice cream day. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Forgot it was Sunday. 
I think All right, we're going to shoot to be there at the end of our watch, but um, we'll see. <laughs> All right, we've got a goal. Ambitious. Shoot to be where? Waypoint. Waypoint six. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, okay. But unless we decide to extend the dive to 4 a.m. Yeah, or something like that. What's, what is this here? Yeah, that looked really weird. This is a really great dive, though, so I wouldn't be opposed to extending it longer. This is a... Coral with some associates. Uh, looks like um, there's a fish bamboo up in the left. Coral trap, trap and nemone. Zoom in. Flight trap and nemone. Well, that's something I haven't oh, seen before. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. A couple of fly tap, fly trap. Yeah, and flight trap and nemone, and also zo zoantids. So zoantids is quite op looks like quite opportunistic. As well, because how space they can cover in terms of coral available, or even take over the corals, and have Ooh. also we can see some hydroids here. And it's interesting that some of the specimens I have seen, the hydroids and um, and the, um, zoanthids cool. also is is together. So it's these are zoanthids, not not the coral polyps themselves on the stock. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. That's the zone. In, in fact, like most of the specimens we are seeing, um, it's uh, octocoral zone. It will be exocorals, and they are in a separate order. Uh, the zoontaria. Um, so Everything's in a new order. It seems like. <laughs> and the <laughs> and, and more we know, you'll be more. Uh, Tenascaphia. Do these work similar to a Venus flytrap? Do they catch things inside of them? Probably. I, uh, I assume is, so. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. These are Venus, my new favorite. They're actually called the Venus flytrap sea anemone, oh, according to Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> these are my favorite now. Be cool to see them open That's up. That's awesome. I want Large one. sea anemone that you resembles a one. Venus flytrap <laughs> closes its tentacles and, and they don't to protect know. itself. That's awesome. Looks like the. Zoanthus has kind of, I don't know if the sediment that it's... Um, it does look that way, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, which is similar. The other one we collected, the same, like, you see the, the, the small bits. Yeah. It's, yeah. We have yeah, to get that's going perfect. Soon. That's so fine. Th we got thanks so photos. much. Yeah, let's keep going, guys. Thanks. Someone on the chat says it looks like the Lorax tree. <laughs> Uh, let's catch up because I don't have the shot in my view here. So Steve was uh, saying. Let's see that he has some material really for the bottom. Flying over that with we are seeing. It's like, uh, it's like drone flying. It looks yeah. like a lot of stocks can hear you, dead coral. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, sponges. Uh, oh, sponges. Okay. Yeah. I'll ignore you. as well. Thank you. Looks like. All right. We've got another rock question. Is limestone and calcium carbonate only found on geodes? Limestone? It said limestone slash calcium carbonate. No, not at all. So li calcium carbonate is basically rock that was formed by reefs. So. Uh, when corals build their skeletons, they use ions from the water column to create calcium carbonate. And what's left over after they die is that, that limestone calcium carbonate. And that over thousands of years, um, that kind of builds on top of it itself. Um, the term for that is accretion, A-C-C-R-E-T-I-O-N. So reef accretion is what forms these calcium carbonate rocks. So you'll see them... Um, you most know, common, as most common rock in the world. <laughs> that too. <Yeah. laughs> so barrier reefs, you'll see all of that, you know, anywhere that corals are. Yeah, not just seamounts. But also because of the movement of the, the plate tectonics, so sometimes you have raised these um, sedimentary rocks in different parts. For oh instance, yeah. in Ireland, where I live, we call it the boring, so it's all uh, limestone and um, carbonate features, uh, calcium carbonates that was raised with the movement of the, the plates in the, our planet. Oh, yeah. 
And where Ashley's from, Kentucky. Yeah, we have a lot of limestone. Oh, there's a sea lily. Limestone. Yeah, we talked to the students about that when we went to the uh, fossil beds, talked about why we have limestone and the fact that the land we were on was underwater once. So we are talking about crinoids and the two types that we usually see, this living view that is usually they're attached in, in the association with corals, but this one that we have in front that's absolute stunning. Uh, it's stalked. a stalked uh, yeah. crinoid and they are echinoderms um, with a, they are very, um, a, a really incredible organism to study in terms of fossils because they fossilize really well. And usually in limestones, you're yeah. going to find loads of um, crinoid fossils. Yeah, crinoid we see fossils. them all the time. We yeah. do a lot of creek walking and find crinoid fossils. Well, all the, time. the view of the Triclops camera is just beautiful. So, this is the sea lily, correct? This is what they saw the other day. Mm -hmm. um, you can zoom in on that if you like. We have a Tentative ideas, Proas acrinus rubarimus. I'm sure the I read that. The red is just incredible. Look at that color. Great. Oh, this palm tr tree looking fella. That nice is very about vibrant red. Yeah. It's more orange in the Triclops. Yeah. I like the, yeah, I, I think I like it, I like it, in the, it. In the clops better. It's like a burnt. Are you guys getting good um, cap, uh, captures from the? Yeah. Yeah, Ice is taking them yeah. frequently. Beautiful. And we should be able to see them in the sea log page. If you nice. Look at them. All right. Are you I getting better get at the uh, focus, on the manual focus, on the yeah. clops? That image uh, from Hercules is actually really good, too. I don't yeah. think we're pushing manual focus too much. It sort of, the autofocus seems to be working pretty well. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I was wondering. I was like, dang, this is a fast focus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm set on photo Thank photos you. for the hurt. <laughs> yeah, the manual focus gets a little... Uh, we haven't, I haven't figured it out it's yet. Very, it's very that. sensitive, but we, we're, yeah. I think I'm getting better. We had an interesting conversation about stalked and swimming crinoids earlier today. Does anybody know which came first, or did they both come at the same time? Or why do some swim and why are some stalked? I think first they were stalked. And after with the evolution, so depends on the yeah, environment, like they become uh, like living because to be Sunburst able to orange. move and, and swim in, in the, I want to pluck the it water so that column. Just like but I think, it as far as I can remember, they stopped carnoid. Um, just kissed it with the. Up the was right first, yeah. Awesome. Why why build your own stock when you can borrow other awesome. stocks for free? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that seems like way less energy. And this makes them to be able to um, colonize different areas of the the seafloor as well and be very successful so there is a stage in time that the sea the deep sea was really at the crinoids were, were dominant um, speaking of crinoids is that one attached to that coral yeah that would be a crinoid as well like. and um these will be the living um species the free living, yeah. And we can see small colony. You can see why they're called sea lilies. They look like flowers. Yeah. And they are in, um, I guess, is Bridge Nav. Three zero south, please. Thank you. Uh, Calyptrophora. Colony, if Steve is there. Cool. So sure. that's perfect, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm not sure if Tim can hear us, but the question is how do white ba how do you white balance the cam the cinnamon cam? Or Panos, I'm not sure. Do you have an answer to that one? The total white. <laughs> Ooh, is an eel in the, <laughs> in the wow. bubble. Oh. Oh, oh don't that go is closer. very big. Oh. oh, you just swim backwards? Though. Yeah. Yes. Uh, modeled texture to his skin. Uh, its skin, excuse me. So that dot there, have we seen that dot on other eel-like fish? I don't know. Or on other fish of this type? I wonder if that's a um, marker. 
Hey, buddy. Dude's gun? Probably was a... Uh, Just swimming again. Had a parasite. Oh, really? Or something like that, I'd Some guess. fish have very distinctive spots in very distinctive places. I wonder if this... Wondered so if this was a show. Nice. It would be interesting if you could ID with the, you know, like, if they have a specific oh, marks oh, oh. and... Nice, I got a good uh, photo of that. It's too fast. It's like in the... He's Actually, I believe they do a white balance of the Triclops cameras uh, at the beginning of the dive like they do with the main... Um, awesome. I don't think... No, I don't think no, they do. they don't? No, because no. it is a dif big difference between no. the... It's a different... I think it's auto... It's a, it auto white balances, I think. It's got an auto balance It's on got it? to. Yeah. Jane, it's Leela. I think Hi, that Lila. might actually have been a, a cutthroat deal, a snap for brain kid. Noted, thank you. Uh, the white balancing only happens with the Zeus camera. Okay, I, I, I was misinformed. Ooh, looks like there's a bunch of things in this. I guess you can process the video after for color correction. Yeah. Yeah. Jonathan will probably do that for all the highlights that you pick. Oh, is this another one of those Rodan Arita Gorgia, perhaps? Looks like it. Looks like, yeah. And we collect, lots uh, we managed to successful collect a few branches yesterday. Lots of associates. Yes. Yeah, so what's that in the middle? Crinoid? Yeah. That it is, yeah. Lots of different colors to the crinoids. Is that a shrimp? Do we have a shrimp count going? Oh, we do have a shrimp count going. Let's nice. not forget it. And there was one from earlier, so let's go ahead. I already got it, don't worry. Oh, Jane, <laughs> <laughs> Jane, can we get you an action shot of you? Are we having <laughs> a, uh, doing the shrimp count? Yeah, I want to. I just want to. I just want to remember. Yeah, this give me forever. one second. <laughs> Let me take some photos of this first. <laughs> She's like, I actually need to do some data logging. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all right, here we go, action shot. Yeah. Make sure you <laughs> have Dwight's in there too, <laughs> nice. You gotta have a clipboard or something. Yay. Oh wow, look at this, another. Another crinoid, yeah. Crinoid. Are they fighting? These would be more purple. Any What's squat lobster there? What is that, like purple? Like it's coming oh, off a purple branch or something? Oh, good. Maybe. <laughs> uh. Yeah, look, well. I can't tell. No. Do you see it, that purple? Is that just another branch? That's another crinoid. Oh, it's something on it. Yeah. And here you can oh. see the sea here. Beautiful. Here. That That's is where it's attached to yeah. the colony. What is it? You know, the top of its tentacles, or tentacles, arms? <laughs> top of its arms really arms, blend in yeah. with the color of the Rodana Ruta Gorgia. Totally. You know, it's amazing. It's like on purpose. Oh, are we going to get a star bailing it's a chameleon i think you're bailing a bailing whoa, whoa. brittle star there it goes it's like i want to get out of here I but my arm is caught it. so that's that underside we've been talking about how they can um it looks the kind of so, uh, oh yeah move their stomachs out of there contract yeah, that's the one you were saying it's can really extend their stomach out right i think lila was telling us about that sea stars can oh, do that okay. i the great escape. <laughs> and it oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh my this actually reminds me of that uh, <laughs> Jurassic Park scene this where they're climbing out of the tree. Yeah, it's, where's the car coming out? Right. <laughs> you weren't in the last one. There's a, uh, this reminds me of me uh, falling down the stairs. <laughs> on the dome here when we took a, a big swell. <laughs> Just like, oh, there's ah. a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you fall down the stairs often? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I'm a clumsy fellow. I fall, I've fallen upstairs. <laughs> you bounce upstairs? That's I'm impressive. <laughs> yeah. I have fallen upstairs. I never do it on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're limping today. Yes, I fell upstairs. <laughs> you laugh until it happens to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually well, laughing because it did happen to me walking <laughs> around on the ship. I can sympathize, like I can relate it to this. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, yeah, I think it happened to me about an hour ago. Oh, Every what? day. Yeah. That's another shrimp, I believe. Is it shrimp? Mm -hmm. Oh, another one in the bowl cam. Yep. <laughs> did so you there's one. this? 
There's one here and the one above both. Okay. All right, we got two one. more to log. Two more. Wait, those are separate from what we saw earlier? Yeah. Yep. And well, all right then. Here was Keep it going. It's like that uh, Once Upon a Time nice, in Hollywood meme. Star. Just it just looks like a floral arrangement to me. So pretty. There's a lot going on in here. And we know from collecting it's it that it's actually quite one. delicate. Yeah. There's another crinoid at the top. Oh, that might be a different coral, huh? No, Satan. Where are you looking? At the top where that yellow crinoid is, it kind of it looked like an uh, eritagorgia. We've only got a couple more minutes here. Um, it's actually part of the same colony. They're very, they're closely related. This one is Rodan eritagorgia, so it just has a um, little prefix to it. I told you all I'm sleeping thinking of these names, so that's my <laughs> new one. My new one I've mastered is eritagorgia. The other day it was Salumbalula. <laughs> <laughs> Manifest it. This yes. almost looks like a little spiral stunk. Not the other. Yeah. You do you think it's a separate one? I coral? see that. Uh, no, I think it's one. I only see one base. So we're talking about crinoids. Um, question in the chat I think is we're good to move pretty soon. Common name for the uh, stock crinoid is the sea lily, and feather star for the swimming crinoid. Is that correct? Yep. Oh, Not to one. be confused there's with brittle stars or basket stars, which are also similar. You'll see those associated with certain corals too. Are they in the okay, same panels, family? Can we come wide, please? They're in the same phylum. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how All right, guys, we got or how precise their taxonomy where it is when it splits. That was cool. Bridge nav. Can we have three zero meters one nine zero, please? Thank you. Yeah, we have an astute observation in the chat. Does the view remind anyone of nature's fireworks? And the Ritter Gorgia is the one that we do call the firework? Yeah, yep. Another polyopogon? Mm -hmm. Looks like it. And few stalks of. Uh, Looks like a bamboo coral for me. I think they saw bamboo yeah. coral earlier today that was several meters long. That is for sure a bamboo coral because you can see the nodal here between right. the in the branches, but it is something attached to it that yeah, I can't see the form. Look. I'll try to focus the Triclops camera. Yeah, you want it's me to like get the triclops, on, the triclops ah, on it? They have barnacles? A, barnacles. Which I believe one of the, the samples we got yesterday also. Oh, It's wow. a beautiful colony. I think he's pulling Hercules up so you can see them. Oh, and we have also... Oh wow, that's Did beautiful. Did you take photos of that with the monoclops? Wow, oh, that camera is awesome. Yeah, look at that. that. so good. I'm nice. just going to focus it real quick. And get uh, focus, 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 focus. Oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> nice. Uh, there we go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to back up. I'm too close. That's fantastic camera. You want to zoom in on it with the main camera? Oh, that's pretty sure. brilliant. Yeah. But again, you know, if you're zooming too much, let us know. If no, no, no. I'll tell you when we have to um, when we have to move. Okay. Just like the last time we had to go, so I left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recently, um, we're trying to to give you Come back here. to trying to study.
better the associates because usually they with the structure we have before and the time was very difficult so with oh, ROVs is, is so much um, well, easier the, to, to spot this, this, this type of, of associations and oh, hopefully from now on we'll be able to study much better there's some good polyp shots as well man ever since yeah. I see little polyps like the thing is the one we found last year and so big. barnacles is just nice was there something special about the one you found last year? Yeah, it was one of them, and it was taller than Herc. Wow. And it was bigger than my body. <laughs> Jane, did you manage to get some? Uh yeah, it still is moving around a bit, so I'm trying to wait for it to steady just a, a moment. Oh. I know that might not be possible. No, I've, I've gotten yeah, enough, just I think, to probably get at least one good one. We well, appreciate not. that for the highlight okay. pictures, too. Well, I think Sometimes I'm awesome. Sometimes you just got to hold Oops. it live. All right, I should be all set. All right, can you come wide, please? Thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to get out of here. Samus Tomasus, um, I believe, is mm -hmm. another. Looks like another crinoid, stock right? crinoid yeah. Yeah. That was the Proiscrinus huberimus. I'm trying to focus now to take a. So, here in the deep sea, when things are so dark, is there a reason why the color would be so, so strong on certain corals? That's an interesting question. Um, I don't know the answer, I don't think. So when it's within the photic zone, there's definitely a gradation of colors towards red because of the way that uh, photosynthesizing organisms use light. They all need certain wavelengths of light and certain color bands. And red is the wavelength that gets absorbed most quickly in the water column. So um, deeper down, it makes more sense to reflect red and absorb other color spectrums closer to the blues. But at this depth, there's obviously, it's the aphotic zone, so I don't know what strategy that would uh, would do. I don't know the answer. Maybe it's a result of uh, what, uh, what they consume. Oh, similar to a flamingo? Yes, yeah. but why would their food be red? Yeah, uh, it could just sure. be a, a chemical compositional thing. There's some articles that um, saying that the color in the deep sea depends uh, a lot of what's the food mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. the organisms oh, yeah. are eating. <laughs> <laughs> so they get the, the pigments for a more metabolic um, processing then. So then, for instance, how we would use so color in different um, habitats. Okay. For instance, like if you are a bird, you know, you have signals to to use these, um, the colors are like usually in terrestrial, yellow, it's like don't eat me because I'm poison or red, you know, so it's Trap. different codes, Trap. depends Trap. where you are. You are. For the deep sea, it looks like the color uh, would be more related to the metabolic, uh, that's related to the, the food that they, they eat. We're going to bump, we're going to bump. No, we're not. Yeah, we did. <laughs> well, that's a good manifesting. But yeah, awesome. Seems like the biology is a bit sparser here. Although we say that, and then I look in the triclops, and there's so many small things that we don't quite see with, see with yeah. the hard cam. It's interesting. It was like the Atalanta view of the of the sponge another, city the other day. Another swimming polychaete off to the right in the triclops. Just left. There's definitely step to the right. Step to the right, you say? And over. Oh, what's that? One thing I love so much about being on the ship is that even when we're not 
on watch. We are watching the watch. <laughs> 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 so I have a message from Step Downstairs. She's the science communication fellow, and, and she's chiming in about the color of the red at depth. It makes them invisible, she says, and <laughs> at least for the fish. So might be another reason for some of the color. Interesting, it is getting a little more sparse here. I wonder why. Someone's having fun. Have we gotten to waypoint four yet? Seeing ripples. Nope. I'm very so curious about what's going to happen after that. Sure? Past halfway no. between waypoint three no. and four, though, it looks so like. We have it's like a star. star. It's a star, yep. It's a straight up and star. Mastos in your view. Looks like a bamboo coral on the right side. Oh, that's a bamboo coral? Oh, there it is. I thought you were talking about the star. And looks like another Antomastus down there. Another eel with the triclops view. Yeah, with triclops on the porch, it's n it's interesting because you can get a different view. Oh. Yeah. Oh, who is this guy? It's the is same the one? same? So I think it's the same. So. Oh yeah. Zoom in. Hey James, can you tilt tilt your camera down a bit? It's uh blowing up the video. So when you get a chance to tilt down your cam. It's kind of moving at the same rate we How are, much huh? Room do we have for rock samples? Wow, look at the oh, end of the tail. That's cool. Yeah, we've got a pair of tail. Very nice. Careful, it looks as though you might have a... Uh, yes, I can see it. Thank you. So it looks this... Uh, uh, wow, this is amazing. Halos. 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 Yeah. Whoa, yeah. whoa. Well, it's I almost don't like only half of its body is moving. It's like semi-translucent. Just look over here. Just a little smile. I feel like hey, a paparazzi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're over hiding here, behind over the here. rock. Hey, look into the lasers. Come on. <laughs> Isn't there a paparazzi tail. song? Yeah. Should we sing it? Hey, come back here. Oh. Oh. That's a nice view of his head. If you can get around to the other side and look at this overhang, that would be kind of neat. Uh, see what's oh. living down there. Oh, I can't Always, I sometimes I confuse. It Can it led us out, to this. But I'm for sure. Can you zoom out, please, Carlos? Thank you. Look at that ridge on that boulder. It's it's not, uh, yeah, it's not really an overhang. Right, let's is go it? up here. And see what's over here. We're getting messages that it's a holosaur. Yeah, holosaur. And uh, now I see here that's uh, the looks like it's totally interesting rock Aldrovangia formations here. Genus. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you for uh, the lights. Let there be light. Rock yeah. crop like. More bubble, go uh, not bubble, uh, more mushroom corals. Ooh. Yeah, these rocks are definitely otherworldly. There's overhangs and stuff here, so we're going to be a little bit weary about what we can get to. And the corals are just adhering to the side. Sort of yeah, bamboo. here Very it looks cool. like we see crinoids, um, hemicoral looks like there. Also, yeah, a lot of previous corals. Some Calyptrophora. It's safe to assume there must be some I current. I can't see exactly what this. This one? Uh, this is a Calyptrophora, but this one. And it looks like there is a Chrysogorgia or a Canela in the back. And if, oh for sure, if you zoom in this hole, you're going to find so many things. Oh, yeah. What would you like to see? Sorry, I was focusing on the peripherals, making sure I'm not yeah. going into rocks. I wasn't. I didn't see if you had circled anything. That no, seems important. We, we uh, I think we're fine. We can okay. keep All right, I'll just keep kind of yeah. panning around, so much seeing what there is to see. So much here, yeah. The view yeah, from Adelanta so is really interesting. Oh, looks a huge sponge in the back. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's take a look at the sponge. Uh, Tritopluria. And the uh, Aradogorgia in the top. And that eel looks like it's still up there. It's interesting that the last Sorry. dive we saw was like Black Coral Paradise. <laughs> yeah. And in these we have seen very few. There were a lot of small black coral too, right? The last dive. Yes. This last one, yes. Was I think that's how we're going to have to start describing it. The last dive instead of yesterday. Cause we a large Tritopleura sponge. Let's take a look at the sponge and the... And might be a squat lobster or a crab or something. Oh, yeah. You've become very good in the squat, <laughs> <laughs> squat lobster, I think. <laughs> Paula is training you. Oh, is this a tree or is this a Stop else? it. We're all going to be looking in the trees and bushes when we get off the boat for squat lobsters. <laughs> Might need to try to get to the other side of it. Um, we saw a sponge so similar to this the other day, right? With the sediment inside of it? Yes, I believe so. We'll get there. Oh, I'm just going slow because I can't good. really see what's, uh, what's yeah. to the left of me. And watch it tether. <laughs> yeah. Complex terrain. Yes, there's just going yeah, off -roading. I mean, that's all, it's useless. There's so much, it's just useless. <laughs> it's quite a. I didn't realize how wow. much it rises up towards where Atalanta is. Where'd you go? <laughs> Where'd you go? Hey, yeah. Squat lobster. Where'd Definitely you go? Stay. It's almost like cave diving almost. Yeah. Wow. It's a pretty amazing Atalanta view. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. <laughs> what was the name of the sponge, do we know? I believe this is a Tritoplora. We've seen these, uh, we've seen a lot of these, um, kind of the dead skeletons of these lying around and uh, on this All dive right, and another I can't ones. go any more to the left. That's okay. Oh, there's so a spot. I'm gonna get slowly come back to the right. Well, you can try to just zoom up. where you are here. Sure, yeah, you can go ahead. Thanos. Try to get that squat lobster. Wow. Oh. Well, so he's no pygmy. Does that mean he doesn't eat? Nice. Uh, Good question. <laughs> I believe it's the same we collect yesterday. Can you zoom out? So I, we're a little too close for comfort. That is. I think I might have just gotten a good picture by the skin of my teeth. Nice job. Sorry, guys. I hope you got a picture there. I think we're okay. It's You're just good. it's into the vehicle, and I don't yeah, want to. Yeah, yeah. Be careful here. This isn't worth, uh, you know. I don't want to getting it. into a bad spot. So yeah, you're gonna have to come out. And yeah, yeah, come yeah. on, yeah. come on out of there. I'm gonna undo the move <laughs> I did, and we'll back out, and then we'll continue. Yeah. Nice job piloting up there. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. Bacterial some, mat or something here? There's some more above the ridge. So when you come up. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, thank you. Lynette, what's the boat doing? Is it going due south? A big coral. Uh, there. Currently, it's not doing anything. Right. Well, oh, sorry. When we when we do, we're stepping due That's south. A beautiful is that fan. Correct? Uh, like one nine zero. Oh, okay. All right. Ish. South. Okay. Yeah. Darkness. 
Those hook. Would you say these rocks are more angular than usual? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're at the area where the landslide may have originated. So that could explain why we're looking at this jumbled mess of rock. Is that still on 20 meters? Yeah. Okay. I know you're looking at it. I'm just... This looks like... Is that an anemone on top of <coughs> the one folder? No. I was thinking if it's an anemone or is a... Uh, what's called? Uh, oh, James, can you tilt the camera down for a more even um, flow of light? Because there's like a dark name, patch. Uh, hydroid. That's a... Uh, that that's that's a mushroom coral. It's a tahi notice. Tahi notice. I'm going to put it in a ship. That's a large one, actually, isn't it? Yeah, so that's yes. to try to get you away from that a little bit. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I was just about to ask. Or you can zoom in oh, on that panel. Now it's beautiful. Can we have 10 meters zoom. east, please? Oh, nice mushroom coral. Uh, thank you. Thank you to Leela, who's in the data lab, watching along with us, helping to identify that mushroom coral. Steve's got it, Anthemastus. That's a good size mushroom coral. Wow, well, yeah. That's where's this? This yeah. would be wow, at least yeah. thirty centimeters. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. So are mushroom corals octocorals? <laughs> they are. Let's yeah. count. Well, I, I, that's what I was doing. Three, I just four, wanted to five, confirm. Six, yep. <laughs> yeah, they are, but you can count as opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I counted them. I was like, all right, I'm going to try it. We count these 10. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Panos. Um, please try not to zoom so fast. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I thought I'd zip forward. Okay. I thought I was going to sure. crash into the rocks. So the scientific name is Antomastus Tahinotus. Oh. Originally, uh, Steve was given information that's broadly distributed. Um, Man, I really but like uh, originally I can, was described in French Polynesia. Looks like a tree on a special coral island there. Yeah, I think we got good zooms here and some good captures. Yep. You guys can move along. Can you zoom up, please? Quite a bit of um, bio here. Does it seem like the lights are off? Oh no, okay, okay. That's what he's done. That's what he did. Is it, is What's that, that thing what in the center? The black? Like a weird anemone? Whoa. Really dark. Whoa. Oh yeah, one of those purple. I almost ones. didn't see it. Nice eyes, yeah. wasn't is it? That, um, but in my camera yeah, is yeah. almost that's an anemone we've seen before. Oh dark colored one. Serianthid so anemone says Steve. I think this would be two, maybe. And, and that's a paragorgia on the bottom left in the triclops? Ooh, but, um, Probably. Um, it's a bit out of focus here, but could be either Ooh. Hemicoral or Paragorgia. I'm more towards Hemicoral. Sorry, where were you? Uh, I thought we were just oh, zooming on this. Or yes. Were you looking at something else? We were just chatting about something oh, in the sorry, triclops, okay. but please do zoom if you can. Looks like it's dancing. Gorgeous. It's coming. Or maybe not. Have you been flying all the way over? <laughs> wow, that's ah. beautiful. It's going to make it hard to get a still frame. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Whoa. Oh, boy. Uh, Landslide. Oh, yeah, it's a vehicle well, it process. A I can't hold it here without. Good view on the It's OK. We're just side, though. giving it a, a run for its money. Make sure it really is stuck to the rock. 
just testing its durability. Exactly. Yeah. He passed. Current test. <laughs> so I can't pan over anymore to the right. So unless I want to blow this guy off the rock, I can't really look that way. That's yeah. okay. We're, we're good on the zoom here anyway. Okay. Ms. Thank you. Come wide, please. As we move on, is the space between um, the nodes on bamboo coral always have similar length? Is a question in the chat. I'm afraid I can't answer that. Okay. Do they have this? similar what? Uh, say again. Like the nodes between the bamboo and the bamboo coral, are the nodes the same length? I don't think so. Uh, you'll be different distance between them. And like usually um, the nodes that's black is more made of cutaneous material, pr protein, oh. proteinaceous chitin, and um, the rest of the stem is uh, calcium carbonate mostly. Interesting. But uh, if you have an uh, opportunity in the next shot we see, uh, they Trip. bear, we ca you're going to see that's not Get a little bit closer up equally on spaced. On the bamboo coral, if we look at it a little bit closer, we could see that it's not the same length yeah, in between. Just yeah, just to, to show an example. Oh, so it looks here like another we have mushroom a coral up there, huh? Yeah, and a crinoid as well. It is interesting to see that the crinoid is attached to the, the, the rock instead of any other organism. So it's very oh. versatile. Tug up. Yeah. We can uh, go yeah, a little I slower. I think we've mostly bit. seen the crinoids attached to coral. There's something small to the top right of the, what I think is a bamboo coral. Is that a black coral there or is that some another paramercia I can't quite see uh, where can you to, uh, just if you draw a line to the up and to the right of the um, large white colony is this yep something? yep that one what is that uh, looks like a black coral it's possible to zoom or yes yeah just give me yeah. a second here and try to get it uh, uh, just to the right of the green laser yeah. yeah yeah I do see it and just uh I see some Chrysogorgia like. as well. Yeah, it looks like a black crow. Let's see or not. Is that the mass move zone you can? Storopathy, dark tissue morph. Says Steve. We're slowly moving towards it too, so we'll. Okay. I don't know if he's zoomed in all the way, but. No, I have more, but. Uh, I have I got a little uh, more the up. branch pattern, because you can see the subpanels now. So you have the panels and subpanels here. Uh, looks like uh, steropathies, but usually the most. Oh, ah, that's amazing. Wow. Very nice. You zoom. can see really the tentacles of the polyps. That's a beautiful shot. Uh, if coming up, coming back, coming back. Here we go. So usually the most common color that we see in Northeast Atlantic of steropathies. Oh, oh, coral. There goes a Oops. paramecium. It's possible to get that one. <laughs> That's false. It seems possibly. False. Actually, it's fallen right below us. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Was that a serious request? <laughs> Got an action shot of it falling yeah. by accident. <laughs> well, if if you manage to, if it's possible to catch, it'd be amazing. But otherwise, of course, we have uh, to go down. No, we no have worries. to. We'd have to sit here. I don't think we're gonna. Be oh like yeah, no, no, no problem. So I was telling about the staropaths that's in Northeast Atlantic. The species we found usually is very yellow, almost orange color. So it's the first time I'm seeing this genus in um, purple. Um, color we would but we would need to do genetics to see that if it's a um, plasticity or just a color differentiation but it would be the similar or the even the same um, species but probably um, Steve has more 
information. Did you want to zoom back in on this, or do you want to? Um, no, uh, uh, we are. For me, it's great. It's good. Yeah, okay. this is a perfect. Thank you. All right. But it was amazed to see the 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 polyps and the tentacles. It was absolutely stunning. Thanks so much. No problem. Do as best we can. I was waiting for you to chime in there, Mike. Huh? So this view looks like, like we have a oh. chrysogorgia, we have mm -hmm. black corals, we have uh, primenoids, we have mushroom, uh, that's in Tomastus, so it's, it's just amazing boat. So well, I guess like you're, you're, you're observing different types of corals here on these rock formations. A good question in the chat here is, what is your take on the bio population densities are you s that you're seeing here? Are they what you expected, sure. or more or less? or? I think every time you dive, you never know what you're going to find. Yeah. So it's always these butterflies in, in the <laughs> stomach, but also is what <laughs> makes so exciting, you know, to to explore. A uh, few species here, I think uh, they have been here uh, in this area, not exactly in this um, sea mound or in this area, but uh, I think this is the fourth expedition. So this give us a little bit of baseline, at least, to what we could see. But mostly, we always seeing new things in other things as well. We're still studying and discovering like what looks like the same is not the same. And things that look completely different sometimes is very close related. So even though we have a few uh, crews before here, is still so much to, to study, so much to discover. So for in terms of diversity here, I wouldn't be the best person to say. I think Steve would be the better, but so far the conversations we have had, haven't had about here, um, few of the things like um, when we mentioned the name or the species is because we are had processed, but m I think probably I would say at least half of the things we still not sure what exactly what would be like similar uh the black coral we collect the first dive uh, we were checking with uh, the expertise and they thought it was one thing but we start processing giving more information of the morphology the gross morphology and we see that it's quite a different so sometimes we need to do the genetics to confirm so is this too so much to learn yeah which is why we're doing the samples right Oh, exactly, yeah, so that's because it's so important to collect as well. This is uh, a very beautiful sea fan here that we're looking at. It's got almost some like waviness to its branches. And we just took an eastern step with the ship to get Atalanta away from the cliff face. Um, and now we're moving south again. I'm just waiting for Atalanta to catch up, which is why I'm kind of lingering, if you're wondering. Thank you. We did have a comment in the chat, nice piloting. <laughs> oh, boy, thank you very much. It's probably my dad watching. <laughs> you're not going to. <laughs> you're not going to just say you're welcome, like uh, Michael. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely tricky terrain. Okay. It's very okay. nice piloting. Yeah. We, re we really appreciate. Yeah. Do you know oh, what no sp uh, what it's type of coral this is, or do any of the others watching? To uh, say pardon? primnoid or an isididae. You can zoom on that if you'd like, Panos. Um, this one looks like because uh, usually primnoid that's as far. Uh, you want a biscuit while the were They in the in the in the bottom, a little bit more open. Um, I would risk that it's a primnoid. Um, I'm like still working on differentiating those two. They uh, tend to look the same to uh, me. Yeah, I just. Usually one I can uh, zoom to see if there is any nodes, then, then could be uh, uh, determ determine if it's a bamboo that is quite helpful because some bamboos and primenoids I'm still struggling to, to mm, see the difference. Um, I do see some nodes on this though. I have impression, but I don't know if it's a sh in the mean here, uh, but I, I have imp sometimes, I don't know if it's... Um, shade or if it's like 
Ah, but here it looks like if if we stabilize, I can see better. You come now that we have please, a zoom, I, my guess is. Well, we're going to zoom back bamboo. in. It's going to settle, and we can get it. See if anyone zoom. will confirm that. Yeah, I was just going to say, Nav, that um, we don't have to go right to waypoint four because I think what that would require us to really kind of come up Flop. higher and over the ridge. Um, instead, we can go towards waypoint five, and then when we get to waypoint six, we can get way up high, up and over the ridge. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so it's under right. So we can yeah, now that we've moved yeah. the ship to this better. side of the ridge, let's mm -hmm. stay on this side of the ridge. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So this, yeah, this next move, we won't really gain that much elevation. We'll be more paralleling contour. Okay, panels, go ahead. We zoom in if you'd like. Yeah, looks like we can see some nodes here. So I don't know if Steve is there. So could be a bamboo. Are you trying to see what that thing is over there? <laughs> no, oh I'm yeah. trying see. to gauge our I see that too, yeah. I think, I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Even just tiny bit of it, see how much it's skating on the So zoom those darker in. lines yeah. there is what you're calling yeah, the so space between is the nodes, right? Exactly, yeah. And that's why they're named bamboo coral, right? Because they have kind of those little nodes, it looks like like connection <laughs> pieces mm -hmm. almost. We have a question in the chat. Do you or can you use UV light for looking for fluorescence or bioluminescence? Ooh. So I don't know about that specific, but we do. We can sense um, fluorescence in uh, the water column by using optical sensors, similar to the way that we use acoustic signals to ping out and receive wavelengths back. We can do that with optical sensors. We put those on sometimes landers. I don't believe we have one on Hercules. Um. I think we have. Oh, do we? Yeah, I think they were testing something like uh, where we had to turn off all our lights and just let that sensor go. So, because uh, oh. it was really, really sensitive and it had like a different range. Hmm. So, a higher range, I should say. Interesting. So, yeah, I think they've done that or at least a test of that or something similar. Probably so, be hard probably to navigate. this place wouldn't be the most suitable. <laughs> yeah, <I guess>. probably <laughs> not in the giant boulder or canyon. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so, um. It's cool though, so it sends out a um, an optical wavelength and it will ping against anything in the water column and the wavelength that it receives back is um, can tell how much fluorescence is in the water and then with that we can kind of convert that to concentration of chlorophyll. So you can also see how much organic matter from the surface has made it down. Um, it also provides optical backscatter which gives you some idea of fine particle sizes in the water column, which is a metric of turbidity. Awesome description, Jane. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. I love the <laughs> idea of being able to see the chlorophyll. Polychaete. Nice. Where do you see the polychaete? It's in the cinema cam. Oh. Ooh. Oh, there. There it is. Did it say anything here? I don't know if it's a small anemone. Are polychaetes There similar? it is. Oh, there you go. Oh, it, oh. sorry. <laughs> And it's it's going into the it's going into the <laughs> thruster. <laughs> oh. It's fine. Polychaetes remind me of Morley polies a little bit. Is that a cup curl in the background too? Yeah. You definitely right. didn't hear that because my mute my mic was muted. But uh, can we zoom out a little bit, please? Thank you. Oh, you want all the way out? Move going one five zero. Uh, okay. uh, we might want to start. Did you want it all the way out? Yes, all the way out, please. We gotta get going. Yeah, I'd like to change our head, uh, change the ROV heading. Oh, beautiful colony. To the ship heading, or to the ship track. Yeah. Oh. Ah. So, so Jane, you your PhD uh, project also tests few environmental. Yeah. Um, exactly. Factors that Ooh. influence. Uh, Looks like a umbelopatis. A what? Umbelopatis. Oh, like now that's, that's interesting. Wow, this gets steep here. Wow. Yeah, so our new oh. heading will take us off the ridge. Yeah, we don't want to do that exactly. Um, okay. We want to like follow the contour. You're not going to rise up in depth. depth to You, you ridge, won't really no. rise up into shallower depths much. But just kind of follow the, position, please? follow the cliff around. Roger that. Try to stay around. 
1740. Okay. So it looks like we have a few colonies of... So now we're looking at like the inside of this landslide feature instead of the top of it. That sediment camera's given us a really interesting angle on the rocks too. Wow, look at that one, it's almost square. Okay. I'm trying to focus. This is, um, is this an example of pillow basalt? Sort of. They're not, some are definitely more pillowy than others. So sort of a combination of, I'd say low bait or uh, low bait sheep flows and pillows. Would be possible but again, it's to been, have a look? It's been fractured, it's been um, rearranged right. due to uh, this landslide. To this one. Yeah, I saw that. I'll, Something I'll we haven't done in a while is taking a Niskin for coral diversity I was just either, so. saying that. Or at least they was thinking about it. Um, how you said this umbilopathies you mentioned, um. is it spelled like umbilical cord and then pathies? Umbilla? Is, uh, <laughs> no. Um, hey, Anachrysogorgia? Or a uh, Rodana Gorgia? Umbellopathy. Thank you, Steve. Um. Umbella. Yeah, you start to zoom <laughs> Just like the umbella um, of the Ambalula, right? It's a little bit different, but very, very close. Because uh, the, the, in the umbel for black corals is umbella patis, and for umbelula is umbelu patis. No, umbelula. Umbe um, Victor Gorgia on the left, says Steve. We'll go ahead and zoom in, Panos, if you like. Victor Gorgia. What are those uh, dolphins with the bulbous heads? Uh, actually, it's not. No? Let's I'm, see. I'm trying to remember their name, Michael. I forget. Oh, it is. I, I, need uh, I keep on looking at the monoclops instead of the hurt cam. No, oh, it is. I just saw his need to see. Turned his head. Look over here. Look over here. Hello. Turn to me. No, it, it is. Well. And a shrimp. Interesting. No, it is um, Bellopats. I, I would, I would uh, say it is. Michael, was it B Beluga? Is that what you were thinking? Of? Is it? I don't know. Well, the rock formation kind of looks like one of those dolphins with the bulbous heads. You'll see it when it zooms out. Is that the left Victorgia, the purple one? It wasn't anything important. I didn't see. The left where. I can see. There's a maybe there's a beluga. Uh, maybe you can't see it. Where's the... Let's see. Bottom left for the Victor Gorgia. Down, 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 down. Right there. Mm -hmm. there ah, it is. okay, yep. yeah. There it is. We are looking for... <laughs> Take a zoom here, please. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm having a little uh, trouble hearing you guys in the back row. Okay, thank uh, you. Here. I'm going to turn my volume up. Maybe that's part of the issue. We can speak uh, more clearly as well. Yeah, just a speak a little cl clearer. Thanks. I'd hate to miss something just because I can't hear you guys talk. Huh? You can start to zoom, panels coming up slow. The Brittle Star Associate looks like. Mm. Zoom as much as you like. Yeah, us. there is few in this colony. So <laughs> look oh, how very it's, uh, nice. sitting on that little knob. Oh wow, the base is so really interesting. So this Small, colony, it's yeah. about 10, a little bit bigger, 10, 15 centimeters. And yeah, quite small, even though has associate, has a British star. Oh, come on. So 
good. That's perfect. Thank you so much. I think that he's uh, quite a gorgeous here. Has the pressure been dropping? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There is also a Tomas. I wonder what it could be. So in this view, we can see the Umbelopatis in the right, uh, probably Chrysogorgia in the left, on top, uh, until Masters, there's a mushroom coral. And, and a crinite. <laughs> and the Vitogorgia. Uh, I'm going to commandeer bubble cam real quick. Ah, looks like there is also a cup coral there. <laughs> How can you can identify that from a stock? I'm yeah. Okay, oh, look at that one over the corner. A couple of them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. Are we looking up at this rock? Looks like it. Okay. We can spend the whole dive just in one <laughs> boat. Uh, it's true. <laughs> one rock. Uh, we do have to get moving, though, guys. That's good. I keep h hearing the Muppet song moving right along. Do you all know that one? <laughs> no, why don't you sing it for us? <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> moving right along. Yeah, moving right along in search of good times and good news. You all don't know that song? <laughs> I do good not, actually, no. Good moving right along. With good you friends. Do you want these little things quickly before we go? Sorry, one more time. Quick zoom. Quick zoom on these little things you circle. Sure. Okay, you can zoom in, Panos. I know some of our viewers out there know that song, and you're probably going to get stuck in your head now. That song is always in my head. And I'm seeing this Sorry, type of shape, but I'm not sure. It's not the first time I see it. It looks like a net. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was wondering as well, yeah, like bacterial mat. Could be, but it's or always a similar, yeah, similar shape. It's almost got threads or something. Could be a sponge, maybe? I don't know. Mm. Ooh, we're, we're swinging pulled. in the boat. Yeah, we're getting pulled by Atlanta. We gotta get going. Yeah, you guys yeah. can uh, move along. Zoom out, please. And it might be tricky keeping Atlanta where you want it to be along this face as it gets steeper, so if you need to adjust the ship to get yeah. closer to the wall, we can try to go by the sonar but maybe you can sort of yeah. see how it curves so around I'm kind of trying to do yeah well and the densest coral aggregations really is what we save them for but um, I just realized we hadn't gotten one in a long time a little clarity on the uh, what we thought was a mat Steve has mentioned that it's pretty common and as far as they can tell, it's mucus or some other inorganic material hmm. stuck to the rock. They've tried to slurp it, but it doesn't really last up to the boat. Hmm. Yeah, I th thought I've seen stuff like that before. So somebody sneezed on the rock? <laughs> <laughs> we have a question. Anybody know how old some of these corals are? Years, decades, centuries? Well... They can be, we, we're still not sure yet. Uh, depends of the, the specific group. Some of uh, black James, corals was date were thousands of years, uh, more than 4,000 years old. Um, some of the uh, other colonies of uh, sea pen, even though they don't manage to know the complete lifespans, but some of the was more than 100 years. So, um, yeah, it can be really quite o o um, old colonies, million. So I'd love to get a rock yeah. sample at some point, but I'm going to be really picky about the one we try to collect. Um, hey, not one that has fallen into place, but one that's in situ. So that's going to be down. a challenge. We just passed a crinoid. Go right there. Is that better? There's quite a few of these. Uh, are these rat tails? Are they eels? What are these? They're oh, eel-like fish. They have morphology similar to an eel, but they're not true eels. Is that another halosaur? Can't quite see. Don't think so. Another cutthroat 
then? No, I've seen this before. Quickly count what the scales. It? Seems like it has almost some macro urid, a grenadier fish, says Steve. Yeah, yeah, that's it, grenadier. Thank you. Does he have eyelids? Doesn't look like he has eyelids. Do these deep sea creatures eyelids. have eyelids? Chlorophenoides. Oh, okay. So I heard. Oh, <laughs> that's our favorite word. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> couldn't even begin to know how word. it was it's spelled not late until now. For that yet. Oh wow. Like is it, is this the Cory Frenoides? I think that's yes. the one we were having fun saying the other night. Yep. Is its tail messed up or is that it how it looks? Oh, it looks sure like is. It. Interesting. Like a square, isn't it? Yeah. Got chomped. Someone has a snack. Hey, quick go in the wrong direction. This is a very cool fish. A cool so, fish. what do we think happened to the tail? Lost it Got, in the knife uh, fight. Ran into an ROV. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> no, there'll be a lot more missing. Someone tried to sample it. Shark. Shark. All right. So, Dwight, you've been on a lot so. of these cruises. Have you seen um, anything that has the cookie cutter shark marks in it? Whoa, what happened? Cookie cutter shark. So the, the ones that there? take little, little basically, uh, basically like little yeah. push cores out of the side of the. Yeah, yeah. I think something. we have seen stuff like that. Not, That's cool. Not too frequently. Though. I didn't put that there. <laughs> and it's rare to see sharks at I this would depth, but sometimes the, the cam. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like more like a thousand meters. I don't think they can. I don't have access to the cam if oh. I if I think. Panos, we need an adult. <laughs> we need an adult quickly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. There. That's <laughs> what it wasn't me. Help us. What was happening down there? What? Oh, we just had a screen change here, and we didn't uh, know okay. how to Is that PC? Control. What PC is it? PC4? PC4. Okay. Hey, James, you want to try to get a rock? Yeah, sure. Which, uh, is there uh, one in particular you see that you like? Well, I like ones that are lodged in, in these places, not <laughs> loose. So that's <laughs> okay. going to be a challenge. But, Hold uh, up the boulder with one arm. And no problem. Basically the hardest ones to sample. Ones yeah, to <laughs> the ones that could put us at risk. Um, not something that looks like it might be loose that fell down from above. So that's tricky. But some of these things in here look all right to okay. me. Okay, I will. So that's that's been there a while. That's quite large. Some of those are quite large. Uh, let's see. Give me a second. Uh, might be tricky here to get a footing. Yeah, I'm hoping if I Is can that, find a... Uh, that one would be pretty cool, I think. Let's see what we can but do. it might <laughs> not be loose. Like the spiral. It technique. looks loose. It looks like it's in the oh, triclops cam here. Those are right? loose. Oh yeah. This one right here that you're looking at. Uh, I can't tell. Mm. Yeah, we're kind of teetering here. Hopefully it'll stay. Stop moving. Might have a little biology on it too. What is going on? What's here? Yeah. Oh, it's just continuously going in the same direction. A lot of, yeah, definitely loose. Yeah, I think it'll be loose. If you are just joining us, we're at a depth of 1,734 meters. Are you? Exploring an isolated seamount just southwest of the Johnston Atoll exclusive economic zone. We are working to try to get a sample of a rock. It might tell us more about this particular rock formation that we are exploring right now. Oh, soft. Ooh. Kind of squishy, huh? Let's get some nice good turns on that. Nice. Is there any way you could move it up into the lasers just so I can get an approximate measurement? Thank you. The lasers give it eyes. It's okay. Yes, thank you. 
What's a good spot for it? Might, uh, might not fit in the small. Um, so let's turn. see. We could put it in with the clavularia, because that's pretty distinct. Um, I don't know if we should put it in with paramercia in case it crushes it. What yeah. do you think? No. So we could try for maybe one of the smaller starboard bio boxes, B through D, B, C, or D. Otherwise, if it has to go in a large box, we can try and put it in with the clavularia rock in F. Sounds good. Ready? Uh, what's the number of the sample? 081. All right. Well, I don't bring it out yet. Okay, copy. And I don't have the scope. The white would... Yep. I'm in an awkward position. Okay, you can bump it. Oh. Sure. Okay, so do we have a preference? Um, please try for B first if you can. Okay. Sorry if you guys said that already. I was just nope, that's right. focusing. Will it fit? I think it will. Well, let's do it. Dwight, you said that th you think that this area is kind of the side of a rock flow? Okay. Yeah, uh, I think it's part of the side of the volcano that's broken away. Nice. So I'm hoping this sample is from the part that didn't break away, <laughs> but it's hard to tell. All right, nice sample, thank you. Oh. There you are. Ah. Yeah, so I'd like to keep heading towards waypoint five. All right, sounds good. like being able to see my arm when I stow it. Um, but if you want, you can bring it up, hold it, and I'll stow it as we're moving. Coming in? Yeah. All right. Because uh, you are kind of close to the thing. Yeah, I might give that to you, and you can, yeah, I'll come up and we'll stow it. I think we're creating our own problems here. Problems here with the sediment. Um, hydraulics are on, so be careful with the index button. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready, and I'll come off the seafloor. Once you get out ahead, I'll call in a move, uh, mostly south, a little okay. southeast. Okay. Yeah. Try to keep us along this face a little bit. Roger. Okay. Ready, Mike? I'm ready to go. Okay, coming off the bottom. You go ahead whenever you're ready, Mike. Especially not in a bad spot. There you go. Yeah, that's fine. It's not going to hit anything if it opens, so if you're happy there, that's cool. Okay. Continuing on. We are just going through a little bit of a trans transition of watch leaders. Dwight is stepping out and Leela's coming in.
Thanks, Dwight. Let's get up over this ridge. We had a question if, um, while we're testing these rocks, are we able to discover if the rock spent any time above water? So I think there's a lot of inter interesting information we can get when we actually take the sample rock samples up. Uh, our geologists are cutting them into thin layers and then doing a lot of analysis. So I'm not quite sure if they can tell if they were above water ever, but I'm assuming probably they can tell because there is a lot about the composition of the rock that they find out. And also, um, you know, getting a good sample means that they're able to date that rock and tell us about how old it is. All of that process happens over a long period of time. We're not able to know that right away. This certainly looks like some sort of boulder, boulder avalanche or something. It's interesting how oh, they're yeah. This is really kind of cool. flat in the front too, right? Like they all fall on top of each other. But then is that another Victor Gorge there? Uh, just just went out of frame. I missed it. No one saw it. Was it ever really there? <laughs> These Schrodinger's Victor Gorge. This is a moment where I wish that we had, you know, in Atalanta right now, you can't really see with the limited lights we have, you can't really see much beyond just our little circle. Yeah. Yeah, I see you trying, Panos. Or is that you, Michael? That was me. It's just like the lights are. Yeah. I wish we could see like what the structure of this huge slide is. Go ahead. You were I saying mean, something. I can back Hesa? up and we can see what. Maybe briefly, yeah, that would be cool to see if we can s get a feel for what come off the, the topography looks like right here. Wow. Yeah, really big boulders. <laughs> They're all That's stacked up just on top of massive. Shrimp. Uh, Who put oh, them there? Shrimp. Yeah. We're at 14 on our count, but I received word from Steph that they were counting earlier as well. So I think we have about 18 in total. You were count where were you counting it? Oh, where were, were you um, taking pictures of these? Yes. OK, great. They were keeping a paper copy earlier. Cool, really thanks. You in the yeah, in Atlanta. Atlanta, too. Shrimp. Is that the same nice. shrimp? If I do a pirouette, and <laughs> is it a new shrimp? <laughs> Could we look at what's on that rock? Sure. Um, uh, which one? Right one? In front yeah. of us? Uh, I mean, either Lots this or also then that quickly. Have you zoomed a lot on all these primnoids already and stuff? Yeah, okay, we don't well, have to zoom on I the primnoid. Well, it's always good to, to zoom, but I think some... You can zoom in, Panos, um, if you like. Just curious what all the little stuff is here. A lot of, it looks like this rock used to be covered in, at different times maybe, in different corals. These are bases of corals. And then there are tiny little other, I don't know, hydroids or things. Zoom out a little bit. So how do you differentiate a, a base of a sponge versus a base of a coral? It's hard to do. I don't know. Some of these might be smaller sponges. A lot of the times though the stock, like, by the time the sponge dies, the stock base is kind of a little bigger than that. But um, who knows? There's also small, like, hyalinema sponges, mm. uh, or, sorry, hyalostylus sponges that are, they're much smaller. The bases would probably look very similar. Um, oh, that's a bamboo. Is that a bamboo? Sometimes it's tricky, so I, I ask to zoom for it. Yeah. See. The other one looks similar. This one, when we zoom, you could see I think this is a bamboo. Node, yeah. Branch, again? branch nodes. It's it's okay, we don't have to zoom here. We can keep panning. It's happening, it's done. All right, <laughs> here we are, zooming yeah, all the way in, all and the way it in. is it's a, a hemichorallium. 
Okay, great, thanks. Did you want to take a look at this? Uh, no, now we can keep right. going. Uh, we might have skipped over the introduction, but that's Leela, our watch leader. It's taken over for Dwight. Is that a Chrysogorgia or a black coral left of the Primnoid? Yeah, I are you looking at this here? Yeah, maybe yeah. that's the same dark color morph of the of the star star apathies that we saw before. Steve had mentioned trying to potentially collect one if there was a squat lobster on it. Yeah. If there was a squat oh, lobster. No, but right. that, that just looks. In my, oh, in, in my your view, view it's like the star apathies. Yellow, yeah. Oh. But yellow. Why does it look yellow there and orange here? <laughs> there is a difference in the colors of the still oh, camera. There's the triclops there. Was this a star apathies you had been interested in collecting, or only if there's a squat lobster in it? Yeah, we would you like to take advantage if you have a, a, a squat lobster in Okay, this, yeah. all right. Because it uh, looks like I was mentioned that in Northeast Atlantic, usually we I have... I think we can move on from this one. Only the yellow one. I won't. And I was wondering if here would be the morph, uh, morph species or a different species, how, how would it be? So Steve uh, mentioned that uh, Jeremy... Uh, he believes is a different morph of species, so it would be nice to collect as well. Uh huh. Okay. But take advantage if there is a squat lobster, then it'd be amazing. R right. Did I hear collect that? Uh, no. Okay, moving on. Man. Some of these rocks look very precarious oh, where like they are. I know. <laughs> the size of each. They're huge. Where rocks. are all the falling rock signs like we have on the side of the highway? <laughs> yeah. Very geometric. We should just be too. going through installing them. These are very angular blocks. Some of them. Really cool rock structure. With pock marks too. So here these big colonies look big so bamboos. bamboos. I think these are bamboos, yeah. And there is a Idogorgia. Maybe Idogorgia. that one that one on the on the in the middle right now might be a Primnoid. But the one at the bottom I think is a Can you circle it? Bamboo. Uh, I think we don't have to zoom, but I'm pretty sure this is a primnoid, and then this is a bamboo. Mm. Well, here we'll we don't zoom, but we'll get closer as we yeah, sure. drive by. Sounds good. We get that cool cinematic camera in it. Yeah. So has that autofocus been working better now? Um, mixed. Mixed. Not really. I, I prefer to go manually yeah. because, like, when you press here, you stay in this trying to focus but didn't manage really so I go manually there you go could we actually zoom a little on this one right in front of us Jane did we get a picture of that one for the which one those two corals together right there or uh, I believe so yes yes we did yeah thank you if not if I didn't then triclops did bamboo yep yeah cool you thank you I started second guessing myself <laughs> <laughs> But it usually I go to the base because yeah, it's yeah, where yeah. we can sometimes see better. Is that one um, That's Acanthogorgia? Oh, down below. Guy coming up. They're all paramorcids now. Did you want to see that little one just mm. below it? Um, I, we're okay. We can okay. keep going. I'm trying to get this brittle star in the cinematic cam. And I guess the one above Steve is saying is maybe bamboo J-clade. It's interesting how it's just hanging out at the top there. And the bamboo as well. And then behind in the very back, if we could, um, is this kind of in our direction of pirouetting around? Yeah, yeah we can go that way. Yeah. The back up though, those two corals that are close to us are in the vehicle. Just give me a sec. Yep. That looks like Metallogorgia melanotrichus. Yep, spelled like that. Great job. Nice. Uh, Steve wants a zoom on the bushy primnoid to the top left. I don't see the bushy primnoid to the top left. We don't have to zoom on this one. Is okay. there something above this that looks bushy? Yeah, maybe we'll 
get there slowly. Oh wait, he said top right. Top right now. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think that's the bushy one. Oh, there is a hole here. Yeah. Yeah. 